Och nu kommer det roliga. Hi, I'm Henrik Mortensson. This is the third part of our webcast series about Primus Vicus, a medieval village and living history museum in Halmstad, Sweden. This episode is about how we set clear goals for Primus Vicus with an intermediate objective map. The day after the Crawford Slip session described in episode 2, I went to the Halmstad City Library and sat down in the cafeteria. There, I had a look at the first pack of Crawford Slips, the answers to the question, what is the goal of Primus Vicus? I searched for a statement looking like a top-level goal, and I found it. Create an interest in medieval history and folk life. From there, I used statements on the slips to build a supporting hierarchy of intermediate objectives. The resulting tree was a good starting point for the workshop to build on. In the evening, I presented the intermediate objective map. We discussed it and made some alterations. I believe the map we ended up with is quite good. If Primus Vicus sticks to doing things that bring them closer to the goals in the map, they won't waste any effort. The map will make it easier for them to agree on what must be done. Let's walk through the map. What does Primus Vicus need in order to create an interest in medieval history and folk life? We identified three critical success factors. Primus Vicus is meant to be a living history museum. Without this critical success factor, the whole idea of Primus Vicus disappears. In order to be a living history museum, Primus Vicus needs to provide an environment that is as historically correct as possible, and that requires knowledge and understanding. Of course, that will not be possible unless members are active and interested. Let's move on to the second critical success factor. Primus Vicus needs a good working relationship with Halmstad and the city council. Primus Vicus needs economic support in order to buy the time necessary to become economically viable. They will also need support in order to have a location for the village. And to do this, Primus Vicus must become an integral part of Halmstad's 2020 vision a vision about Halmstad as a city of knowledge, a city of experiences, and an attractive city to live in. Primus Vicus must contribute profits to the community. It can do that by attracting tourists. This does of course require quite a bit of PR and advertisement. The third critical success factor is to make money now and in the future. Straight out of the constraints management philosophy, Primus Vicus must learn to first improve profits, then reduce investments without impairing profits, and as a last resort only, reduce operating expenses. Money comes from tourists, sponsors, and from having popular attractions all year round that can be enjoyed by everyone who lives in or near Halmstad. In order to have these attractions, Primus Vicus will need to collaborate with other societies and organizations, and there must be active members. For Primus Vicus, having active members that volunteer to run the village and participate in events is also the key to minimizing investment and cost. How do you get lots of active members? You have plenty of fun activities, and you must be well organized. Thanks to the intermediate objective map, Primus Vicus can, from now on, journey with the end in sight. By adopting this map, Primus Vicus takes an important step towards ensuring its continued existence and future vitality. The next episode will be about how Primus Vicus created a project plan using Crawford slips and a Scrum project backlog. Be seeing you!